Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about my everyday skincare routine. I've really been settled on the skincare routine for years and years and years. Um, this is the same thing that I've been doing since high school and I know people like to switch up the routine a lot. For me personally, I just feel like I found something that really works, so why mess with it? I actually, for a semester in college, ran out of all these products that I'm about to show you, so I ended up just going to the store and buying some random face wash and would just use that every single night. Um, it was one of those face washes with little beads on it that smelled really, really good, but my skin actually kind of went mayhem. I got a lot of spots and not just a few spots here and there, I'm talking like full breakouts all over my face, which had never really happened before. So after a few months of that, I'd had enough. I went back and bought all these products again. And since then my skin has really cleared up and I haven't really had any issues again. I do get, you know, a few spots a month, but definitely nothing terrible. And I do think that is in a large part due to these products that I'm using. So I feel like my number one thing, if I do nothing else, if I only worry about one thing, um, I make sure that every single night I always take off my makeup. I know that sometimes it can be tempting to just go to bed with your makeup on if you're really, really tired or, you know, after a night out, you just want to crash. But I really make an effort to just make sure I always take it off. I think that it makes a huge difference in my skincare routine. And if I ever don't take it off, I wake up, my face just feels disgusting. Um, it feels really oily and dirty and my mascara is all clumpy. It just does not feel good. So number one, if you take away anything from this video, always, always, always take off your makeup at night. So in order to take my makeup off, I do one of two things. I'll either use makeup wipes and then continue on with my cleanser, or sometimes I just use my cleanser to cleanse and take off my makeup. The makeup wipes that I use, and I actually did mention these in my first video, are these makeup wipes. And I have been using these makeup wipes for probably about a year now, I'm obsessed with them. And these are the Ola Henriksen, and I might be saying that wrong, um, but the Ola Henriksen Clean Truth Cleansing Cloths. And they do have a few different ones of these. I always just look for these in the orange package. And these specifically are the Cleanse, Brighten, and Hydrate Wipes. So I really, really like these makeup wipes. Obviously they do a great job taking off my makeup, but as I mentioned in the first video, the reason that I'm obsessed with these is really just because they smell so darn good. It really just makes it a nice experience taking off my makeup. I get these at Sephora, um, so they might be a little bit more expensive than other makeup wipes that you could find at the drugstore. Like I said, I really am just addicted to them because of the smell. But as far as being a, a really important part of my skincare routine, you know, they're probably not that important. So any old makeup wipes would work. Just make sure you take your makeup off. That's really the most important part. Okay, so now for my actual cleansing, I always use one of two Clinique cleansers. I ran out of my other one a few months ago and also had this one in stock, so this is the one that I have been using recently. And this is the Clinique Rinse Off Foaming Cleanser Mousse. One of these containers lasts forever, um, a really, really long time. Because it kind of foams up as you use it, I really only need a tiny, tiny amount. Honestly, if you use more, it's just wasteful and it really doesn't feel good when you use too much because then your whole face is just foamy. It's like you're suffocating in this stuff. So yeah, just use a little bit, a little goes a long way, but it does a great job of just cleansing my face, taking off my makeup, making everything feel kind of literally squeaky clean. Another thing I really like about this is that it doesn't really have a scent. Um, I think it actually says, yeah, it's 100% fragrance free. I feel like that's really great for a cleanser. I don't really need my cleanser to smell amazing. I feel like there's actually something nice about it not smelling like anything and just knowing that the stuff in it, the stuff you're putting on your face and washing your face with, doesn't have anything added to it that it doesn't need to be added to it. And like I mentioned earlier, most nights I will just use this to take off my makeup and cleanse as a two-in-one just because I'm lazy about it, but some nights I do use my wipes and then this. So the next thing I do after cleansing my face is use a toner. And this one is also from Clinique. Actually, you'll notice basically my entire skincare routine is from Clinique. I just feel like they have really, really good products for skincare, um, for makeup also, but mostly for skincare. Okay, so this is the toner that I use, and this is the Clinique Acne Solutions Clarifying Lotion. I don't know why they call it a lotion because it's a toner, but this is what it looks like. And this is actually probably my favorite part of my entire skincare routine. I just feel like after I use this, my skin feels so clean. I know that 
every last bit of makeup and dirt has been removed from my face. And the reason that I know that is because I use one of these pads, um, just kind of pour it on the pad, and then I just swipe the pad all over my face. And if you actually look at the pad after, it's kind of gross, but you can literally see, I mean, it's, it's not gonna be white anymore. It'll have kind of dirt and grime and any leftover makeup that my cleanser didn't get will be on this. Even days when I'm not wearing any makeup at all, and I think to myself, oh, you know, I'll still use my toner, but won't, probably won't need it as much, probably won't do as much because I wasn't wearing makeup today. And then I'll look at the pad and I'll be like, oh my gosh, this grime was on my face all day. And it just feels so clean and nice after this toner gets it off. So yeah, out of anything, I'd say I really recommend this product. I think it costs about 15 or $20, but again, it lasts a really long time. And to me, it's totally, totally worth it. If you don't use a toner yet, I really recommend it. I think it makes a huge difference in my skincare routine. So the last step in my, I guess, nighttime part of my skincare routine is putting on this. Surprise, surprise, also from Clinique. And this is the Acne Solutions All Over Clearing Treatment. So the container might look a little small, but again, just like everything else, one of these will last me a very, very, very long time. I just put a thin layer of it all over my face, kind of comes out just like a lotion. And basically I just love this step because I feel like it locks in all of the cleansing that I've done before and is just one more added layer of acne prevention and also acne treatment when I do have spots on my face. Sometimes if I have like a big spot, I'll actually just put a dab of this directly on it and I feel like it just makes it clear up a lot faster than it would otherwise. All right, so now I'm gonna talk about my last part of my skincare routine. And this is actually the only skincare routine thing I do in the morning. Everything else that I talked about, I do at night, but in the morning I don't do all those steps. I really just kind of splash some water on my face and call it a day. I know that a lot of people do wash their face and kind of go through a more intense cleansing in the morning and at night. It's just my personal preference to only do it at night. Cleansing in the morning just isn't really something I've ever done before. It's not something I've ever felt a need to do. I think part of it is just that I'm way too lazy to go through that whole routine in the morning and at night. But really the other part and kind of the main reason why I don't also do that in the morning is really just because I don't wanna overdo it on my skin. I feel like once a day just works well for me. I'm afraid to I guess overdo it. I don't want to strip my skin too much of everything that it's naturally producing, so I just stick to the heavy cleansing at night. But the one thing that I do use every single morning, and again, I did mention this in my first video, is this. And this is the Clinique Super Defense Daily Defense Moisturizer with SPF 20. And specifically, I use the one that is for combination oily to oily skin. They do have ones for other skin types. So if you are interested in those solutions, just make sure you get the one that kind of is best suited for your skin. So this moisturizer really is like my holy grail. I can tell a huge difference in the way my skin feels when I use it every day versus if I forget to use it one day or forget to pack it and I'm sleeping out somewhere else. And I also think that my makeup just goes on a lot smoother when I put this on before it. Um, if I just put it on, you know, 10 minutes before I do my makeup, give it a little bit of time to soak in, I just feel like my makeup looks so much better on top of this. Sometimes I'll just use this and won't even worry about a primer actually. I just think it's perfect for the morning, for the daytime, because it's not too thick, but it still makes my skin feel really, really moisturized. And it soaks into the skin really well and doesn't take forever. So I use this all over my face. I also use it a little bit down my neck. Um, and actually recently I've been using it sort of as an eye cream as well. So I'll just dab a little bit extra under both of my eyes and it just makes that area under my eyes feel that much more moisturized, that much more, I guess it just makes me look a little bit more awake and less dull in the morning. So those are all the products that make up my daily skincare routine. It's really nothing too crazy, nothing too elaborate, all products that are easy to get your hands on, but I've noticed that it makes a huge difference in my skin. And if you are looking to start your skincare routine or looking to switch up your skincare routine if what you're currently doing just isn't working out that well for you, I really recommend trying this and seeing if it works for you because I really think that it could work well for you guys too. So if you guys like this video and wanna continue watching some more videos from me, it would mean the world to me if you subscribe to my channel or if you guys left me a comment down below to just let me know what you guys thought of this video. You guys can also find me on my blog and on my Instagram and on my Twitter. I'll leave links for all those channels down below in the description box as well as all of the products that I mentioned today so you can take a look um, and buy them yourself if you're interested. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.